YouTube, how y'all doing today? So we're going to give some uh, maintenance to my clippers, readjust, lubricate, and clean. So let's check this out. My wall seniors got that gold taper blade. My hair in there, take all that junk out of there, man. All that junk in your trunk. Look at that water hair, man. I tell you, once you clean these uh, blades, it just makes it a lot easier to work with. Feels good too, cleaning your clippers. So you can tell there's some hair inside here, the casing and the motor. So I just decided since I had more time, I'm gonna take this clipper in particular completely apart, uh, just to make sure it gets fully clean and working to 100%. All right, so this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just follow along, take out, take off all the screws. Pretty basic stuff here, nothing too crazy. All right, so I'll let you guys follow along. With my brush, I had to clean that out. You could tell there's a lot of hair in there. I couldn't even see the screws. So let's take all that, that hair out, take the screws off. As you can tell, the casing doesn't have a, a whole lot, but it does have hair in there. So I had to brush that down. Uh, this brush wasn't able to get in, uh, inside the casing that good, so I had to use a smaller brush. Uh, just make sure you get each part of the clipper, brush it down, take off all that excess hair, all that dirtiness. And uh, if you have a, air, a compressor or a blow dryer, it makes it easier. Uh, you could tell, look at all this hair. Okay, so now I, I got a, a, a different towel and um, the casing is pretty much clean. So slap that batter in, put that motor in, and uh, put all the screws back in, tighten it back accordingly. Uh, it's pretty basic, guys. Nothing too crazy. that lever back in and uh, tighten it not too tight not too loose I like it tight enough where it, it's easy to move up and down without it being so stiff so spray down your your blades and put some of that oil We have uh, my cordless detailers. Take the blade apart and just take out the two screws. Same thing. Clean out that all that hair, all that junk. Um, on this one, I took it apart. I took the casing off just to see if there was hair inside. It's pretty compact, so as you can tell, there's not that much hair inside inside the casing. Uh, brush down the blade. Put some of that cool hair. That oil, lubricate it, put it back. Nothing 
crazy. Y'all know how to do it is, man. But there's a lot of videos out there. This is just uh, the way that I do it. So if this works for you, this helps you, let me know. If, uh, if there's anything that I'm missing, anything that you want to include, leave, leave it in the comments. In the comments down below. So this is just to help each other out, man. All right, so this is the way that I clean uh, my shaver, get that brush all that excess out of the cutting plates spray them down and I get my little brush on the inside get my little brush so you're able to take that hair inside and then hit it on the counter a little bit make sure, making sure it, it falls out of there just like so and we're going to put a little bit of oil, one drop, one drop, not too much. Spread that out. And whatever was uh, the excess right. that was on your fingers, put, put that on the foils uh, to lubricate. Uh, and then just get your towel and clean that off. Make sure you clean off all that oil from your shaver. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Pretty basic stuff here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys how I, I clean my clippers. Alright man, hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm going to be dropping more videos pretty soon. See you guys soon.